The keeper sends it all the way down. It's straight through for the winger again. Over Ted. Open goal. And this is adding insult to injury. He's my brother. Who's my brother? You're my brother. You're my brother. You're my brother. You're my family, yeah? Okay, wall of three. One, two, three. Woo! Jungle like King Kong. This is a rope or a theme song. Shooting for next cause we in form. We got gunners and shoes on action. I give it all for my team. Better than us, what the hell do you mean? Sweat on our collars and hearts on our sleeves. Yeah, legacy more than a dream. Winning, we win it, we win. Yo people, it's your boy Skipper J and today the Wall FC take on Highgate Albion in the London Cup first round. This is only our second appearance in this competition. Last season we was unfortunately locked out by Kamazi strikers by a player who is now our own who we called the wizard Chrissy Hubbard with an amazing free kick to make us lose 3-1. So it is great that we could get our own last week Sunday and beat Kamazi strikers the same score that they beat us. So today we've taken the long trip to the north side of that London and let's hope the boys can bring back a win. We've got a few new boys coming into the team today. We've learned from last year how many players you actually need over the course of a Sunday league season. So let's hope that they can give the gaffers a headache and really push for a spot in that starting 11. As I said, this is only our second appearance in the London Cup. So let's hope the boys can get a good cup run going. We know that they're a good side, so the boys have to turn up today. Let's hear what the gaffers have to say. Let's, let's have a line up today. Ted is starting goal. E-man, Robin, Percy. George on the right, Dan and Jay in the middle. Black Chris, Tyrese, Tuns and Zeps. Yeah? We've got Seddy, Matt, Meeks, Leon, Dexter. It's gonna be a game where we're gonna need to use our subs, so make sure you're always ready and warm. We've got to mix up and vary our attacks and how we're playing. Sometimes we go long, sometimes we go short. They're gonna be confused. When we have control possession, we should be squeezing up, guys. Yeah, Percy, E-Man, yeah. I'm looking to you. Because what's happened the last few weeks is that we're staying here, and when it's breaking down, the gaps are too big. Yeah. Then we can't cover the ground, and then we struggle in that transition. Their wingers are supposed to be lightning quick. Be aware of that. Lightning quick means that they'll fall harder. Yeah. yeah? So make sure that we do what we've got to do with that. Around the pitch, guys, make sure you protect yourself. They're a physical team. They know who the majority of you are. E-Man, one of them has told me that he knows you from young days and stuff. Yeah. They know Reese. Yeah. they know Jay. So they're clearly, like, so they've done their research, guys, to watch the videos and know who you guys are. Okay, so at the end of the day, we've done our research as well. We've watched a bit of them. We know what they're like. They're a physical team. They can play ball though, okay? They're well organized and well drilled. They're not champions for no reason. Don't get sucked into anything. Make sure it's just positive out here. Keep it all positive. Keep the football flowing and keep it as minimal as possible in regards to pass and move, guys. If you guys start doing what you've done against the Big Lee and start playing their game, they'll have a, a great time today because they'll probably get a result because we're playing their football and we don't want to do that. So make sure we play to our style. We don't deviate. We just stick to our game plan and we execute it well. Because of the kind of pitch it is, I get graft vibes today. That's the kind of instincts that I've got. Yep. That it might not be the sexiest of football in regards to the in the kind of game that you might be up against. But I think if you graft this out, we can bring this back to South London. When you start to get tired physically, don't get tired mentally. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. your, your mind can still keep going. So if you need to sit for a bit, if you need to think a little bit more smarter, then do that so that you can buy yourself that second wind. Yep. Yeah. Because yep. that is probably what will take you through the end of the game. Last week is about accountability, yeah? Today is about brotherhood and working hard, okay? Fight together, this is a graph today, okay? Play the football, clip it where we need to clip it in percentage football and stuff like that, but play our football as well. So, yep. man, I need you, yeah? As yep. my brothers, who's my brother? I'm my brothers, yeah? You my brothers, yeah? You my brothers, yeah? You're my family, yeah? yeah. Okay, wall of three, one, two, three! <laughs> and from last week, we stuck with a 3-5-2 formation. Ted and goal, Chairman Percy at the back with E-Man and Robin. Myself, the skipper Jay in centre mid with Dan and Tyrese in the number 10. We got Jordy on the right wing and new signing Chris on the left. Up top, it's Mr. It's a vibe himself, Tunde and Zeps. And for the bench boys, we got Big SJ, Cam, Matt, Leon and Dexter. And it's high gate possession. The centre back plays a nice ball in behind, but the chairman is there to sweep up. He gives it to Chris. Chris steps on it and plays a lovely ball in behind to Tunde. But you know how it is on Sunday League. The ref has given offside. I do have to say the Highgate Albion wingers were giving us problems from the get-go. And it's the chairman trying to win the ball back here, but it does drop to the winger yet again. He takes it down the left line. And I have to say he does send Robin to the shot here. He has a shot, but it's blocked by Ema. Six minutes on the clock and it's a Highgate Albion goal kick. The keeper sends it all the way down and straight through for the winger again. Over Ted, open goal. 
But it's cleared off the line with an amazing recovery by Ted. I do have to take a moment just to big up our keeper, Ted. He's only 18 years old and he really does put his body on the line for the wall. Ted has gone down with an injury, but let's hope he can last the rest of the game. Corner for Highgate. They really tried a near post corner to try and score. But yes, the wall on the attack, 10 minutes in. Robin plays a ball that doesn't go nowhere and it goes to Tunde after defensive laps. Tunde throw on goal. But it's good defending by Highgate. 11 minutes on the clock and it's a Highgate throw. But Jay wins the ball back and goes on a run. Past one, past another, and dishes it out to Bry. And Bry has a shot, but it comes to nothing. One of the things I've noticed about Highgate in the first 10 minutes is that they love a long ball. But it's good that we've got Chairman there to sweep up. 13 minutes on the clock and we have not started well. A Highgate attack again. He goes on a nice run and shoots across goal and it just fizzes past the post. I can hear him say clip. I can hear him say clip it. Trust the information, guys. Trust the information. Just 15 minutes gone and Jay wins the ball back. He gets set by Tyrese and knocks it past two players. Has a shot and it hits the crossbar and the post. How unlucky for the wall. And I'm not sure how the chairman managed to win a free kick for the wall here. But I guess the chairman does what the chairman does. And it's a big kick from Ted. And that's a lovely takedown by Mr. It's a vibe. He slaps it and gets a corner for the wall. When I was younger, I always thought about what it was like to go to a circus. I guess now I know. Twenty-four minutes on the clock and it's a high gate attack. He crosses it in, has a shot, and it's a great save again by the young man Ted. As I said, Highgate do love their balls over the top. I guess this one worked. For the first half an hour, we have been nowhere near where we need to be, and Highgate deservedly go 1 0 up. It's a throw in for Highgate, and the boys manage to get a free kick straight off of it. But Sace lets the boys know what he wants. Get the ball and play! One nil down and the boys really need to get back in this game. The ball's kicked up field. Jay wins the seconds. He plays it into Jordy. Jordy cuts inside as a shot, but nothing comes of it. It's a high gate attack and they have another nice ball in behind over the top. Ted does his best to come out and meet it. And it looks like Ted has picked up his second injury of the game. For a keeper, this is very abnormal. SJ's warming up. So it's 33 minutes on the clock and we have to make our first substitution. It's big SJ coming on for Ted. The boys are starting to pick it up and really get back in this game. Free kick to the wall. I think one player that we are missing today is Chrissy the Wizard Hubbard. Geordie tries with a free kick, but we know Chrissy always delivers. 36 minutes on the clock and the chairman Percy with a big tackle. The ball's played back again though by the Highgate players who slips in the winger. He's one on one with the keeper and E-Man comes in with a last ditch tackle for the team. I do got to give my big props to E-Man who turns up every week always delivering a good performance. But the boys are still 1-0 down and in need of an equaliser before the half. But hold on. So after that mistake, the boys are now 2-0 down. This is not what we needed before the end of the half. 2-0, five minutes to go, and the boys are just not playing well. Another attack by Highgate. The winger is through on goal, but it's Ema with great defending, and SJ picks up the seconds. So this clip really just highlights the type of ref that we had in this game. He made some dubious decisions, but both ways, and I'm not sure how this was not a free kick. And there goes the end of the first half. The ref has blown his whistle. Wall FC are 2-0 down in the London Cup first round versus Highgate Albion. The boys have travelled all the way to North London for this. Let's hear what the gaffers have to say. The wingers are actually moving to us. Like, that's the truth, yeah. yeah? Like whether we want to admit it or not, their wingers are annihilating us. They're starting here initially. They'll do this and they stay there. That's what they do. And then where's all the space? Now, don't get me wrong, yeah? The space is there because of the formation we're playing. So we need the wingers. We actually need them. 
Like when we don't have possession, yeah. we need them. Yeah. It's not the formation that's the problem. Yeah. We just need to amend yeah. when we're out of possession. Yeah. 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 So when we're here, it's not about waiting for that ball to come and yeah. then Jordi and Chris yeah. come yeah. back. Yeah. You need yeah. to be yeah. there already. Yeah. yeah. So get there already. Yeah. When we're out of possession, and don't get me wrong, it's going to be quite <coughs> tiring. But guess what? It's tiring for them too. Yeah. And no winger likes to do suicides. Yeah. Whether you're a winger or not, whether you run 5k or not, suicide is dead. What they're doing to us here is a third man run every time. Time. Yeah, pass to that guy, set back to that guy, third man run, and then he goes inside. We've never, since I've been here, we've never been 2 0 down. So this is about mentality now. This is about how you bounce back. Normally, we're the ones that are putting other teams 2 0 down. Yeah. So now, how do we bounce back from this? This is about how mentally strong you are. When you're 2 0 down, who's the team that wants to score? The yeah. team that's, that's got no goals. Yeah. You make it 2 1, yeah. and we're back in it. Back. Now, get back in it. Fight, yeah? We yeah. fight, we come back in this game, we win 3 2. Done, yeah? Right. Water yeah. on 3, loud one. Oh, one, two, three. Two. And we are unchanged for the second half. 2-0 down and the boys really need to pull their socks up to get back in this one. Only a couple minutes in and Dan's fired up. Now it's Jay with a header. He plays it into Tunde and Tunde plays it on the floor to Brian. And it's a great interception by the Highgate defenders. Double substitution. Jordy and Robin off. Meeks and Leon on. And it's 56 minutes on the clock and Jay takes the ball past one man. Takes it down the line. And he whips it in. It doesn't go to no one, but the ball comes out to Dan. And Dan smashes it over the crossbar. Meeks, all day, they do not want to defend. Work those two centre backs. They're old, hey, they're unfit. Going? Going? Look at him, look at him. He's tired already. Yeah? 35 minutes. So you heard Sace, he wants the boys to really get at the centre backs and make sure they can cause him some problems. But it's a high gate attack. E man with a header out, comes out to their winger, he plays it into their striker, and he cuts inside, fakes, fakes, and SJ with a big save. It really redeems himself for the mistake he made in the first half. And we left this clip in just to highlight wherever we put the chairman, he always delivers. 67 minutes on the clock, and it's a penalty ball. It's not given by the ref, and Highgate have the ball yet again. And they play another long ball over the top into their forwards, who I can't lie, have been causing us a problem all game. And it's SJ with another big save. So it's a high gate corner and they play a quick one. They also do a 1 2 in the corner. And the one scoreline that's worse than a 2 0 scoreline is a 3 0. Seventy-four minutes and it's been a bad day at the office for the boys. Another substitution. Dexter on. Tunde off. Three 0 down with twelve minutes to play, and this is adding insult to injury. <laughs> Only ten minutes left in this half, and Highgate have been the better side. The ball's played into their striker, who cuts out, goes to his right, and smashes it across goal, and it just goes past the post. 83 minutes on the clock, Chris gives it to Jay. Jay takes on one and two, but he just overruns it. And now it's Highgate possession. They play another long ball over the top, straight in behind our defense. And their strikers through one and one with our goalie, and he slips it in. 4 0 to Highgate. Ninety-two minutes on the clock and the ref is about to blow the whistle for full time. It's looking like the Wall FC will not progress into the next stage of the London Cup. From the get-go, Highgate Albion were the better team. The boys did have spells, but spells never win you a match. So the Wall have been knocked out of the London Cup. That's already two cups we're out of this season and it's not looking great. Our attention turns back to league action next week. We have Farnborough away, which we really do need the three points in. So make sure you come back and tune in. I do want to say congratulations and well done to Highgate Albion and good luck in the rest of the cup. Make sure that you like, share and subscribe and leave a comment on the video of what you thought of the game. For the wall, I think it's back to the drawing board. Let's hear the end of game team talk. Listen to me, listen to me.
management. When you play football manager, you go through seasons, innit? Yeah. And you understand what kind of people you need to get out of your club yeah. or get into your club for you to work on it to get the next seasons. We're not going to win everything straight away. We want to win everything now, of course. But at the same time, it's our second season. And when we move, we know what we need to fix up. What I don't actually like doing is I don't like saying, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did this. Because at the end of the day, we have to stick by each other when we lose. We have to stick by each other when we win. However, there's a big lack of accountability, a big lack of it. Yeah, well, I did make five mistakes, but actually I've done seven good things. But those five mistakes could have really fucked that game. Now, I'm listening to some of the stuff that's been said, and I'm thinking, in a nice way possible, you lot are chatting. <laughs> because actually, you don't know much. I know, as a player, when I go to my FA Cup game tonight, I'm no longer a coach, and you know, I'm a player, and I'm there to listen. I've never seen such a poor performance from you lot, ever. I'm not going to lie, that was embarrassing, and they're not a good football inside, and we got absolutely moved to. All, the only thing I can say is you've got to learn from this one. My concern now is it's going to be little whispers between players. Oh, well, I think that we should have done this and I think that we should have done that. No, well, for once, you're actually just going to have to admit, <laughs> I was wrong today. Now, when we spoke about mentality in the second half, who have we got next week? Lambeth. None of these games are easy. You don't get a breather. You don't get to think, oh, yeah, let me sulk for six days. You ain't got time. We've got Lambeth next week. Who are going to turn up? So are we going to turn up or not? Yeah. That's yeah. the question. Are we going to turn up or not? Yeah. We know on the way back, we're going to have to problem solve and we're going to have to think. We can't allow that to happen next week. 4-0. Since I've been here, we've never lost 4-0 ever. Ever. We've never had a 4-0 gap. I'm not even blaming goalkeeping mistakes, really and truly. There's 10 men in front of those goalkeepers, you know. Yeah. And unfortunately for keepers, you make a mistake and it, and, it, and it costs goals. And the players outfield don't get that kind of don't get that kind of grief. Actually, you lot need to hold the grief today. And none of you lot was going to go in goal. When Ted was hurt, none of you lot was going to go in goal. Said he stepped up, bruv. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear no talking after the game, before the game. Come here, do what you got to do. And come off the pitch. I'm embarrassed, yeah, at what we put out here today. I'm embarrassed for us as a club, because this is rock bottom. We need to be back on that coach in seven minutes, guys. Otherwise, it's going to incur more charges for Percy. So you guys can just change, get your staff, bring all the equipment in as well. Please collect it all up. And we'll go from there. Seven minutes, guys. Winning, we win it, we win, yeah.